Hello everyone, good morning, Eduardo Golpan here. And to this video guys, let us answer the question from one of my viewers. She said, thank you for a such valuable tutorial. I have further question on this. What if I enter product ID which doesn't exist and would like a program to add as a new record? What could should be written? Actually guys, this is all about the DLOCKUP function. And I have a sample uh, template on this. This one. Uh, this is about employee list, but this is the same concept with a question about the product ID. So here, what if the ID number is incorrect? But let us try first the correct this one. Like for example, 1001. If we click this search, okay, Andres Bonifacio, this one this is correct. What if 1005? If I click search, okay, Juan de la Cruz. What if... Um, Let's put here 1011. If I click search, okay, there's a message box. The ID you have entered is not found in the employee list. Do you want to add this ID to, to employee list? Okay, yes or no. If we click yes, then uh, the employee form will be open and the ID, incorrect ID, will be automatically uh, filled in and all we have to do is to add the rest of the field. So, how to do this? Uh, let's try a, another form guys. So, close this and let's open this sample. Okay, there's no code. And remember guys, uh, the name is txt ID and also for this is txt result. So, ID and result. So, let us put a function, what if this is blank or null. So, let us add a code. On click, code builder, click OK. So, let's start with the if function, guys. If is null, so me that txt id, OK, that one. Or, uh, let's put... Uh, me the txt id is equals to this one guys meaning to say blank because null and blank is not the same because null is really a null but this one the blank is considered as a string so they are not the same guys so then okay let's put a message message box please enter enter the or the ID number. Okay. Like BB critical. I like X. And then, spot denied. So let's try. Uh, by the way, before I forget, I'll put NF. Okay. To avoid some errors. So, example, this one. Please enter the ID number. So, again, please enter the ID number. What if we will put something like that? So, there's no message. So, now let us proceed to the value of this, this one, guys. So, by the way, I will add a, a temporary variable. Like, name is tr result. Okay. And this is string. And then the value of that variable is um, dlookup. So, this one, guys, we need this employee name. So, let's type employee name. Okay. And then, comma to proceed another parameter. So, domain. So, this is the name of the table, which is employee. So, let's type employee. Then, another parameter, which is the criteria. Our criteria is employee ID. So, let us type employee ID and equals, let's put single quote, double quote, and so, for this form, this one, this is um, also our criteria, equals uh, me.txt. Okay, that one. And 
double quote, single quote, double quote, and end close. So, let's try, guys. So, for example, um, let's put blank. Sorry, invalid use of null, meaning to say uh, it's not uh, found. So, if this is the error, guys, don't worry about that. So, all we have to do is to add the in the function. In the function. Okay. And let's put this one. Because this is null. This, this is also uh, considered a string. Okay. And it is close. So, okay. No error. So let's continue. Okay. So now here, let's put else if this is uh, null or blank, that is the result. So let's put is null, then is the result. And or Ah, like is the result is equals to something like this then there's a message I did not put a, quote, a double quote guys because um, this is a temporary variable it's not a field okay so there's a message again the message would be the ID number the employee ID is not found in the employee list okay let's try and for example let's put okay the employee id number is not found in the employee list now guys let us add another line here uh, with the question the question is do you want to add this ID number in the employee list uh, and in the common button is yes or no so let us add guys so to add let us create this as um, like conditional so let's put if if and then for the message box okay something like this and then um let's proceed to another line so we will put bbcrlf and then bbcrlf because i will proceed to the second line so and so this one so the question is do you want to add this ID number to employee list or something like this and um, BB question because we will use the question mark for the icon in plus BB yes no for the option then um, add okay so this is the title of the message box in close then equals uh, like bb yes then okay so if yes the result would be do cmd open form and then the name of the form guys is this one employee f we will copy this okay and then since we added a another end f so i'll put end f here for a second okay let's try so let's click search okay here we go this is our uh, question do you want to add this id number to employee list if yes okay so it opens the employee form but as you can see guys this 
uh, it opens to the first record which is 1001 so what we will do is to add continue this one okay this one add so let's try again okay click the search yes so it's blank so we can write um, this code but we will not write case we will let the uh, this form to automatically fill in so what we will do is let's uh, call this okay form and then the name of the form is employee employee F and this one and then the name of the field guys The name of the field is employee name. Copy. Equals me that txt id. Okay. So let's try. Close. So do you want to add? Yes. Okay. I sorry guys. Sorry sorry sorry. Um, it should be here. So. Okay, it should be ID number, uh, employee ID. It's normal, guys, to get some error. Okay, this is it. So, click search. Yes, here we go, guys. So, this is it. And then, as you can see, the course or the focus is in the employee ID. So, what we will do is um, the focus should be in the employee name so that we can write directly the rest of the field so let's put do cmd go to control and then the name of the control is the name of the control is employee name okay something like this okay so search yes okay here we go guys so as you can see we can add directly for example um Maria Pulpan department is finance and then the salary is something like that and then this is automatic sieb okay let us refresh okay guys uh, okay let us delete this this is our trial okay Maria Silito or Maria Golpan and then let us add or let us search sorry so it doesn't reflect here because we are not yet done with our code so let's put else else so this one this is txt result me the txt result is equals to this one sorry well copy this okay okay i'll put 1011 search okay maria golpan so what if 1010 okay add seljan what if blank please enter the id okay it's correct again search okay do you want to add this id to employee list yes okay like elon must okay this and then the salary is 1.5 okay something like that and okay Elon Musk oh, this is it so I think guys this is enough for this video I hope you learn a lot and if you have some questions you know what to do guys you can just comment it down below I'll try my best to answer it and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe it's a big help for me guys so once again thank you for watching my video that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video